You're very welcome back now. Racing season is upon us, but how can you ensure that the judges spot you among the crowd at Ladies' Day? Well, stylist Judy Gilroy joins us this morning with her top picks. Good morning, Judy. How are you? Hi, Judy. Good morning, girls. Now, there are plenty of people who go to the races and they don't really care what they wear. They're there to enjoy the day. But then there are <laughs> others and it's almost like a job. And they actually take what they wear very seriously, which is amazing to watch because the style is incredible. Exactly. Well, there's so much fun to Ladies' Day and there are some people who take it quite seriously um, because there's some brilliant prizes at stake as well. There's you amazing can... prizes though, quite there often. There really is and it's all, it's, it's great fun, it really is. So today we've got a couple of top tips uh, to help you catch the judge's eye and, and turn heads. So here's our first look today. Um, we've gone for this beautiful headpiece from Anthony Pito. They have a boutique in uh, Dublin and he makes the most incredible handmade and custom hats as well. And I think that, you know, one of the top tips I can give when you're going to Ladies' Day is you're going to Ladies' Day, it's all in the name, dress like a lady. Yes. <laughs> so think more Kate Middleton, less Rihanna. Uh, so today <laughs> I've gone for this beautiful dress from mykindofdress.com. Uh, it's not going to break the bank, it's just 45 euro, um, but it's got beautiful detailing to it. You've got the peplum, the lace, uh, the long sleeves, it's an appropriate length. So this is ticking a lot of boxes not even actually just for ladies day but if you've got any occasion coming up very pretty color exactly so and we've gone for the lovely gray tones and then we've mixed them in with the pink accessories uh, on the head and on the feet with these gorgeous shoes uh, from purpletag.ie it's a lovely color lovely combination isn't it really nice yes we have a lovely look coming up now what's the rules or are there any with matching or not matching should your headpiece match your outfit or clash with typically it typically it does match some element of your outfit and that's what i've done today with this beautiful black headpiece and um, again this is from anthony pito and this is actually actually a, a collaboration between himself and a young Irish designer called Kira Silk. And I do think that that's a, a great tip going to the races if you have an interesting story um, or you're supporting an Irish designer as part of your outfit. And then the ability to take a hat piece like that, which is custom made, so it, it, it has a little bit more of a higher price point on it. And then mixing it in with a dress um, that's a little bit more accessible and affordable. So this is from Carrick Dunn. Um, it's just over 40 euros, a great price point again it's ticking a lot of boxes in the length you've got the bright color popping through um, and and the little um cap sleeves as well and this comes in all all a full size range so everyone can get their hands on this one and um, so then we've picked up on those black details bringing up the point you said about matching there with the black bag to pick up on the black of the um of the hat as well and then we've gone really understated with the accessories we've just gone for a beautiful night and day uh, bracelet and pair of earrings as well. we're ladies day having had the pleasure of going before um you know rules about uh, being comfortable go out the window because <laughs> everyone is in high heels when yeah. it's a day for flats because the amount of walking you do but the high heels reign supreme and that's where it's really important to pick a shoe like these that are supportive because do you know what i have judged these events before i'm sure you're you yeah. yourselves have as well you want to pick somebody who looks comfortable in what they're wearing and practicality has to be taken into account if you're if you don't look, you have to be able to wear it good. yeah exactly you've mm. got to own it so our final look today um is this beautiful yellow dress from audrey taylor boutique in sandy cove in Dublin um, and she just has the most stunning collection of occasion wear and um, you've got the gorgeous grey details coming through in the floral print and I think a great thing with this dress is you know pick a bright colour if you're really in for the win at Ladies Day it's going to turn heads when have you ever seen a, a Ladies Day winner not wearing a bright colour mm -hmm. <laughs> and this yellow just looks so beautiful um, on Ursula and honestly it, it didn't need anything else because we've gone for such a vibrant colour I've paired it back you don't have to wear a hat uh, to ladies day and this one is just in around the 250 euro mark and I think that this would be great not just for the races but for a wedding for a mother of the bride there's so many places you can wear this I one. love these shoes Judy they're fab aren't they yeah. these are from the Una Healy collection and I got these on purpletag.ie under 40 euro they're comfortable they're practical uh, but they look good with the dress and that's, go sure with that's everything. what it's all about yeah brilliant you're going to stay with us judy more looks to come of course look forward really to nice. it thank you thanks judy now up next i'm in limerick with the share a dream foundation